hello everyone welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is queen esther if you've been here from the start i'm delighted to have you and my returning brothers and sisters okay so today the holy spirit want to teach you about authority through the blood of jesus before i get into this video let's pray heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus we surrender to you lord god we yield to you we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. I cover this video with the blood of Jesus. I pray to reach every eyes in here that need to hear it, Lord God. Holy Spirit, decrease me as you increase. Remove me. Empty me of me and fill me with you, Lord God. Open their hearts to hear what you're saying, Father God. Open their hearts to receive what you're saying through this teaching today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I will be starting with a scripture today. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Through the blood of Jesus, you have authority. Through the blood of Jesus, you have all authority. That's the first thing the Holy Spirit said. Two, the definition of authority states the power or right to give orders, make decisions, and enforce obedience. That's the dictionary definition. The Holy Spirit definition states it's not an option when you give the kingdom of darkness orders. The devil must obey you if you know your authority. Let's read that again. The Holy Spirit definition states it's not an option when you give the kingdom of darkness orders. The devil must obey you when you know your authority. Your words alone with no authority doesn't flinch the enemy. The Holy Spirit said, your word alone with no authority behind it doesn't flinch the enemy. Here's a good example from the word of God about your authority, about authority and what it should look like. I will be reading from Matthew 8, 22 verse 32 today, verse 28 to 32. When Jesus arrived on the other side of the lake in the region of Gatherness, I hope I'm saying it right, two men who were possessed by demons met him. They came out of the tomb and were so violent that no one could go through that area. They began screaming at him, Why are you interfering with us? son of god have you come here to torture us before god's appointed time notice just the presence of jesus put fear into these demons it's the same authority your presence should have it's the same way you should approach demons, okay? They began screaming at him, why are you interfering with us, son of God? Have you come here to torture us before God's appointed time? Jesus didn't have to explain himself. Jesus didn't have to say anything because he showed up on the scene knowing who God called him to be, his authority. You have that same authority 
given to you through the blood of Jesus by God. Know your authority. Okay? There happened to be a large herd of pigs feeding in the distance. So the demons begged, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of pigs. All right. Go, Jesus commanded them. They literally begged Jesus to cast them out. Jesus only said, go. And they obeyed him. It's that, that's the same authority. When you speak to the kingdom of darkness, when you speak to demons, when you speak to the enemy, it's the same way. Use the same authority behind your words. Go. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. That's the authority you have through the blood of Jesus given to us by God. Know your authority. Here's one thing to sum up. Here's a good example to sum up authority through the blood of Jesus Christ. See yourself as Jesus when you're giving the enemy orders. See yourself as Jesus when you're giving the enemy orders. See yourself in this specific scene talking to the enemy. And as soon as Jesus spoke, the demons left. It's the same thing. That's what the Holy Spirit wants you to know today. I hope you got the revelation about your authority through the blood of Jesus Christ. I hope this video blesses you. And here's something else I need you to know today. Jesus loves you. And he desire to know you more. Open your heart and receive the call for your salvation today.